It's daybreak in Valencia. One of the main food product factories has received an important order from a buyer in Singapore. To get the process started, the factory's logistics manager instructs his freight forwarder to take care of the shipment, including loading the container at the factory and eventual shipping by a container shipping line to the final destination. The freight forwarder office has dispatched a truck to the container depot to pick up the refrigerated container, known as the reefer, which has been inspected and assigned by the shipping company or agent for this particular shipment. There are costs associated with this stage of the process. The container is transported to the factory. The truck is loaded. A forklift loads the products into the container. The merchandise is now ready for transport. The truck is weighed together with its load as its weight can affect costs and the transport process. The container is then taken to the port container terminal where it is unloaded and stored with numerous other containers awaiting shipment on the appropriate vessel. The container is connected to a power supply at all times to ensure that the correct temperature is maintained. The container has to meet customs requirements for the destination country. An ITV is positioned underneath the crane so that the container, along with others, can be loaded. The container is stacked and lashed down on board the vessel so that it cannot move or fall off the vessel during transit. It is then connected to the vessel's power supply to maintain the temperature. An agent at the port handles the dispatch of the container, conducting mandatory procedures such as health inspection and required documentation in accordance with requirements established by the authorities. The vessel sets off on its journey with the help of the harbour pilot and the tugboats until it leaves the protection of the docks and marina area, thus ending the export loading stage. The vessel embarks on its journey and arrives at its port of destination, in this case Singapore. From this point on, the import process is similar to the export transaction, but in reverse order. The boat docks at the container terminal and the customs agent handles the paperwork. The container is discharged and stored in the terminal until it is cleared by customs authorities. The truck takes the container to the receiver's warehouse in Singapore, where the cargo is unloaded into store. The empty container is then transported to the storage depot, where the container is washed out and stacked for future use.